The operation went pretty smoothly, but once I got in there, the appendix wasn't so inflamed. Doe. I knew it. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times The Simpsons infiltrated slash invaded other shows. For this list, we'll be looking at the best moments when characters from this iconic show vacationed from Springfield into other television programs, either literally or referentially. Did we miss any of your favorite Simpsons cameos? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Sesame Street Big Bird's Birthday or Let Me Eat Cake Homer, Marge, and others aren't exactly known for being kid-friendly, but believe it or not, they managed to stay on their best behavior during a proverbial drive through this Muppet-filled street. I've seen Team Suck before, but they were the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. Homer, watch your mouth! I gotta go, my damn wiener kids are listening. In one of Grover's songs, Monster in the Mirror, the blue fella comes to terms with his own reflection through a fun music video. The segment features several cameos from prominent public figures, celebrities, and yes, even cartoon characters. The monster in the mirror sang his song again. He sang wubba 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 woo woo woo. As the number nears its conclusion, a familiar yellow family appears in the mirror. If you wubba me, then I will wubba you. If you wubba me, then I will wubba you. Whether they help Grover is for you to decide but their singing is definitely appreciated. Number 9. L.A. Law L.A. Lawless Homer and the rest of the Simpson family don't appear at all in this episode. At least, not technically. Boring! Let's watch something else. Aww. But that doesn't mean the father figure isn't all over it. The episode features a theme park wonder named David Champion who dresses up as a certain recognizable character. That's what you want. Hey, anything to stop my life from feeling like a cartoon. Arnie Homer Simpson. How you doing? Fortunately, the cheeky references don't stop there either. If you think the vocal impression is spot on, that's because Homer's actual voice actor Dan Castellaneta plays the character. People are desperate to escape the harsh reality of their lives. But life isn't about escape. It's about facing the truth. It's a hilarious wink at the audience that manages to have all the fun of a crossover without ever breaking the show's reality. Whoa, uh -oh, gotta go. Number 8. The Cleveland Show. Cleveland Live. In a very special installment, this cheeky series satirizes all of animation with a special look at what goes into creating an episode. Robert and Rollo, places for Act 2. Robert and Rollo. It's filled to the brim with winks, Easter eggs, and loving jabs at fellow adult animated programs. King of the Hill premieres, taking America by light drizzle. I sell propane. <laughs> No one crashes a party quite like The Simpsons, and quite frankly, it would have been a total missed opportunity if they hadn't shown up. Sure, it's just a still of Bart and a soundbite of his catchphrase, America says hello to the first non-prehistoric family in primetime animation. I but the lack of fanfare kind of fits the vibe perfectly. Plus, with how raunchy the family is, they should just be glad they were invited to the shindig at all. Number 7. Futurama a big piece of garbage. Fry, Leela, and Bender's zany hijinks are a perfect fit for some of Springfield's locals. Whatever it is, it's headed straight for us, with enough force to reduce this entire city to a stinky crater. We have less than 72 hours. <gasps> well, let's get looting. This time around, the cameo is a bit more dolled up. That's no hyperbole either. When the Futurama gang travels to an asteroid of garbage that's on its way to Earth, they find a massive stack of Bart Simpson toys. It's a glorious monument to the achievements of the 20th century. Look, a real Beanie Baby. Oh, a Mr. Spock collector's plate. Oh, some Bart Simpson dolls. Of course, even in doll form, the Simpson son has a potty mouth. He spouts a line about eating shorts, which Bender takes seriously. Eat my shorts. Okay. Mmm, shorts. It's a crossover that's out of this world in more ways than one. Number 6. Drawn Together Ghostesses in the Slot Machine Even the Simpsons enjoy a night out. Both Marge and Homer cameo as background characters in the episode Ghostesses in the Slot Machine. The Simpson matriarch can be seen at a casino. Meanwhile, her husband is at a club. The best part is that they're completely missable. 
The show doesn't dwell on its guests, leaving them as fun Easter eggs for eagle-eyed viewers to catch. My God, Cappy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Friend, you've got a bet to place. It's just the kind of clever humor that Drawn Together does best. In fact, this wasn't the first time Homer's made a blink and you'll miss appearance on the show. You'll want to watch the series closely, since you never know when you'll catch a Simpson crashing a scene. Number 5. South Park Simpsons already did it. Ironically, an episode all about a lack of ideas ends up as one of the series' most creative ever, and that's saying something. Oh, it'll be just like on The Simpsons. Huh? They did that on The Simpsons. The bluntly titled Simpsons Already Did It features several references, allusions, and cameos from everyone's favorite Springfield residents. The cheeky commentary is a nod to the fact that the South Park writers often thought up plot outlines that were too similar to the Simpson storylines. This act, of course, reminded us all of the time that Bart Simpson took the head of the Springfield statue in one of their classic episodes. It's a wickedly clever way to structure a crossover, and since the productions appear to be on good terms, the loving jabs never feel mean-spirited. Plus, we get to see the Simpsons in South Park, and it's hard to complain about that. Dude, the Simpsons have done everything already. Who cares? Yeah, they've been on the air for like 13 years. Of course they've done everything. Every idea has been done, Butters, even before the Simpsons. Number 4. Animaniacs Hooray for North Hollywood, Part 1 This eclectic comedy seems like it can get away with just about anything, even if it does toe the line sometimes. I found prints! No, 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 fingerprints. I don't think so. Here, the gang pokes fun at what you need to do to make it in Hollywood with an infectious song. In fact, it's so catchy that they manage to throw in a quick appearance from Bart Simpson. And say so you recommend a chair for a part, you gave De Niro his start, and on The Simpsons you suggested that they call the kid Bart! Well, sort of. Apparently, concerns over copyright meant Animaniacs could only show the top of his head. It's a good thing his hair is so distinct, or else this wink might have gone, well, over most viewers' heads. And that's the way that you smooth. Hey, I think I can do that. Number 3. American Dad – Faking Bad When Steve and Haley open up an undercover business making fake IDs, they get a surprising customer, Bart Simpson. Why does he need a fake ID? Why is he out of Springfield in the first place? Well, there's one very easy answer to all those questions, because he's Bart. Even though it's a quick cameo, voice actor Nancy Cartwright wastes no time bringing the character's hilarious antics to the American Dad world. Mike Crotch? I'm looking for Mike Crotch? <laughs> the lack of explanation is kind of part of the charm, too. After all, if any of the Simpsons lead a secret double life using a fake ID, it's totally Bart. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. S, but you know, I, I gotta check everybody. What, are you kidding? I take it as a compliment. Number two. Duckman, Private Dick slash Family Man, Duckman and Cornfed in Haunted Society Plumbers. If you think about it, Homer Simpson and ghosts have a lot in common. They're persistent, unpredictable, and shocking. During this episode of Duckman, we get both for the price of one. When a ghostly creature appears, the protagonists run off. At least there's one thing we can be grateful for. There's no such thing as ghosts. But the figure is actually Homer, who was feeling a little hungry. The uproarious setup truly makes it feel like he just stumbled into a different show. The perfect crime. What the hell are you staring at? Given who we're talking about, that's totally possible. It's uncanny how in-character Homer feels, all the way down to how he tries and fails to repeat the show's iconic line over the credits. Okay, Homer, it's just, what the hell are you staring at, okay? Take 38. What the hell are you looking at? I mean, staring. Oh! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Family Guy – The Simpsons Guy the only burning question left after this crossover is how it didn't happen sooner. Guess we're in a town called Springfield. Springfield, eh? What state? 
I can't imagine we're allowed to say. The Griffins and the Simpsons are two families who thrive on shenanigans, and this episode delivers every single interaction fans could want. The Griffins meet a poo. There's a hilarious family dinner. Homer and Peter bond over their buffoonery. All right, Peter. If we're going to find your car, we got to think like a car. So let's fill up at that gas station. I feel sick. And that's just half of it. Since both casts are incredibly well-defined, the hilarity practically writes itself. The chemistry is so strong that at certain points, it's easy to forget these characters are from separate programs. After a showing like this, we wouldn't be mad if the Griffins went to Springfield more often. This beer tastes exactly like Duff. It's just a lousy ripoff. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not a ripoff of Duff. It may have been inspired by Duff, but I, I like to think it goes in a different direction. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.